second row for him. And he says, I got a snag, and I'm like, yeah. There's no wedging going on here. Starts to actually cave on itself. So I've undermined it. It's just not getting any. So I'm going to play around in the undercut. Rifleman, buddy, I'm just sitting here at my fire with my wife. We're playing a quick game of crib. We like to do that. And I saw your email coming with your messenger of kindness. And I wanted to send you a personal thank you, my friend. Seriously, thank you. Um, this conglomeration of you people helps this place so much. It truly does. And I thank you big time. So it's just, to me, it's, I don't know, writing is fine, but this is better. Thank you, Trav. out of gas it's out of gas almost time to get the axe out i think let's have a look here because i don't have more gas i'd have to go get some bone dry bone dry yeah okay well I, there's a gas station right across the street so i guess i i think i'll start throwing the axe around is what i'll do yeah that's actually what i'll do that's what i'll do friends i'll get on the axe now There we go. Good idea. So that's that's pretty good. So we got we got a fair bit split. That's a that's a freaking good machine, isn't it, friends? Hey, isn't it? It's fast. It's I mean I haven't really given a review on this thing. Um it it's built big. It it's you can it's got it's got uh adjustments for your species or, or you, like your length you know what i mean it, it's got it's strong it's strong it's strong built i mean uh very strong actually i like it i like this machine i, I mean i i can the, the thing about me friends is the worst part of this job for me is crouching down loading wood onto the the lift the log lift <laughs> That's the worst for me because anything bent over. If I'm, if my back is straight and I can, like the wood hook, I can use, I can get in a position and, and, and do you know what I mean, friends? Like I can use the wood hook like crazy. You'll see me doing it. Uh, I can, on, like this. Do you know what I mean, friends? Like this. So that, that, see my, see my position? This is no good. This, this, this is no good. Uh, this here. So um, I got no knees. So people say, oh, bend your knees. Well, if I go down, I can't get back up. Have you ever seen me try to, it's, next time I'm down on all, down on the ground, watch me try and get up. I'm looking for something to grab onto. My knees are gone. Um, so th that's why the wood hook for me is killer. Stuff like this is okay, but it's too far away from my hands. You know, it, you know what I mean? It's just, you can't throw wood with it. You're, now what's happened is the weight is further away from your body. And if you've ever had your lower back smashed to pieces, you'll understand that the closer the weight is to your body, the easier it is to deal with. Trust me, friends. When I was sitting at the side of my bed smashed to pieces, and I, I, I think it was about four months later, I was able to sit at the side of my bed. The weight, the sheer weight of my arms, if I reached out for something, oh, I just brought them back in right away. The weight of my freaking arms gave me pain instantly. So I learned about the body pretty. So this for me out here like that, that's no good. That's actually, that's the worst thing for a human body. Do the research, check it out friends. Honestly, it's called stooping. This is 
This is the worst thing right here. This is it. Now this, this, this is a different story completely. This, no good, I feel it instantly. Trust me friends, I went through this stuff when I broke my back, I learned all about it and felt it. So there's a snot sling for you. Now, I think I'm gonna grab my ax. Quite a bit of wood here actually still quite a bit but I think we can get at her pretty good geez I like that machine hey mr. Easton <laughs> Easton made Easton I had a buddy named Brian Easton he was a faller he died so I when I hear Easton I think Easton Brian Easton he was a good man okay I'll get set up Okay. We know this axe is a monster. An absolute, complete monster, friends. A couple Tazzies, I want to share something with you guys. This thing is, it's a Whiskey River, it, friends, when you have a, a nice scook, this is the perfect ax handle right here. It is, and it's a Whiskey River handle. And it's got beautiful girth. It's right in the middle of something thick and a Killinger handle. And it's got, I think I did some work in here, friends. It's got like a little knob down at the end. It is beautiful. This thing is beautiful. I, 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 I can't explain it, but it's a Tazzy. It's a four and a half pound Tazzy, okay? And it's in pristine condition, like pristine, okay? So I'm, I'm just, I'm showing you guys profile. You know the wood we're in, it's not horrible, but here's a, here's a, here's a good old, right, standard Tazzy right there, okay? There it is. So let's, let's have a go. Let, let's have a go here. Come on, you. Don't play games. interesting good splitter very good splitter but it, it doesn't have the bite that, that I know you see how it's not splitting the wood it's it's splitting it but it's not it's, it's, it's not doing the job it's not doing the job and there, and again there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with it it's a great axe but for some reason could be the stringiness of the wood too. It is actually, but that's not that bad, this wood. You know what I mean, friends? It's, uh, actually it is lovely. So let's try something else. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Yes, it is. Yep. 
Very nice. Huh. Very good wood splitter. There's a bonus right there. You see that, friends? What a bonus that is. Gotta like that. Oh yeah, see, that is a bonus. Very nice. The Tazis are the way to go. Okay, so that's a lovely split and axe. I'm gonna get something else. So I'm just gonna roam through these. Here's another one. Here's another Tazzy on ash. Ash handle, little bit slightly different profile. Not too much, but it is a little bit. But this one's better, look. It is, and I'll show you why. Watch this. Just for me, just for me. I'm gonna show you subtle differences here. And I'm gonna tell you something, friends. Trust me, trust me. The subtle differences are everything. Look at the first inch of the ax. Okay. Top is the first one we use there. Okay. So here's the ash we're gonna use now. I have a feeling Oh my goodness, this feels nice. Oh dear, it's a Colby handle. I can feel it. So this, this doesn't need split. That's good enough. This ax feels nice. I'll tell you friends, the handle is everything. It is. Look at this now. I have a feeling, just because I've had a lot of axes in my hands. Remember friends, we have no, no hard floor at all. I mean, if I was smart, I'd probably do this. But it ain't gonna make no difference anyways. I should probably make myself a little place, you know, hard ground, to be honest, is what I should do. Yeah, there. Now, yeah, see? Instantly. I, I just, I feel it in penetration, friends. See, this is what I'm talking about right here.
the better axe. Could be the handle. I gotta watch my shoulders. This is a beautiful little axe, this one. Beautiful. I don't want to put it down. Three friends. Okay, I'm gonna put this one down. I'm grab another one. Hickory Tazzy, plum. Okay. Narrow. It's fine, but it's narrow. In my mind. In my mind. Ooh, that's nice. Very nice. Beautiful, Beautiful axe. Check okay. this out, friends. Ash, again, very similar profile to the one we just had. See it? Dazzy. She goes, that's, that's her, all right? But look at the handle, it's a French curve. Oh, it's sexy, <laughs> hey? It's real sexy. Let's see, watch. You guys, I, guys break these. You, you gotta be careful with these. You just, you just do. You'll, 
Yo, bust him. Yeah, pick and choose your wood, too. Actually a nice axe. I like the French curves, friends. This is a very nice tool. But you don't want to take chances with something like this, friends. You'll bust it. I'm just telling you, you will. With your ash. Be careful with your ash. Very nice little tool. I'm, I'm already, I'm already convinced. It's it, it, but you will break these. They're skinny. They're beautiful, like like beautiful. But I'm telling you, friends, you've got to go easy with them. I mean, this is good size wood. It's straight grain. Like look at one one mishap, and and you will break the ash. Here's a big hand, a big piece. Like they take it. But you gotta... Right? <clears throat> okay, that's that. We're moving on. This one, remember, it's a lightweight axe, but it's got very nice, pro very nice profile. See the speed bumps down at the bit? It, it is, it's lovely, but it's this one, remember? I, t I totally changed the bit, it's a lovely axe. It is, it's lightweight though. It is, it's light, you see? The speed bumps kind of get in your way of this too, this type of stuff, unless you're really sharp at the end. But it, I'm telling you, profile, friends, It is. It's a, it's a beauty, actually. Oh, what a, what a nice little tool. This thing's beautiful. It's it's profile. You guys still in? Yeah, you are. Good. Gosh darn. Hey. Okay, I'll go get something else. Okay, Steve. Steve, my man. All right. I want to give you this axe. 
you purchased one, Patty and Steve. It's just a really, really cool ax. It's the first one I've put wedges in in a long time. Do you know what this thing's called? Someone's gone at the bit, like it's all crazy and wobbly, look at it. But someone, it's a deadly haft. Um, someone, and it's a beautiful hickory handle, but it's 28 inch, Stevie, 28 inch. And, and it's just a very cool ax. You, know you know what it's called? It's called the Swift Drifter. <laughs> it is, brother. I've been rolling around these parts for a long time, but I just haven't found the right place to lay my head to rest. You know what I'm saying? It's, I'm a drifter. I, I just, I've been drifting. And That's what it says. Swift. I think it's called the Swift Drifter. Made by Kelly Tool Works. This is an old axe, brother. It is. It's a joysy. Get your shade on and get out your joysy and split some wood. I'm telling you, brother, this is a cool axe. It's got a humongous pole on it. I, the swift drifter to means to me means wedge banger. Yeah. Check this out. This will be very interesting. I have a feeling that we've got a, a problem on our hands. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we do. I, I can feel it. Oh. Did you see that, Stevie? I had to change. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Steve. Patty and Steve. This is the business right here. James, this is our axe, bud. things it's a monster beautiful freaking handle big tazzy oh yeah okay we can't leave without doing this friends now here's a couple little ideas here's our prof see the difference <laughs> yeah this is pretty interesting. There's that one, okay? And then there's also this one, which is a different approach. It's a little thinner in the first inch. You see that, how that's, it's 
interesting this one to be honest they're both lovely let's go with the fatter one first because we're, we're running out of wood here well no we're not well we've got some here but i like how that one sticks in wood i i really like how it sticks in wood but this this is a beast aroni the san francisco tree you see So it still does my my thing. That's important to me, friends. It, it uh, this one's a little fatter in profile, so it, so it yeah it it it's a good splitter. This thing. <laughs> I'm having so much freaking fun right now, friends, and I'm glad that I can get some of your axes in on the videos. Listen, we are not finished with the wood bullet yet, friends. We're not. We're still refining. Um, it, it, this takes years to to get. You know, there's all kinds of things I want this axe to do. And if I say it's going to do it, it's going to do it or I'm not doing it. So we're still refining yet, friends. The finished product is not quite there. Wood bullet. Like they just. They bust wood. And it splits, really splits actually. I, I kind of like in this one. Yeah, it's got that that initial um, penetration. Yeah, see it's it works. And this, I mean this here, oh, friends. You know what I mean? Here. That is a screaming ticket right there. All right. Well, use the log splitter there a little bit, and that was handy. It was nice. I didn't have to split it all by hand, so we got quite a bit of. <laughs> it's good. Good little jag of wood here, quite frankly. That last run, there was a couple of cord, I would reckon, between what we did here, there, there, and over there. Did a little bit with a splitter today until she ran out of fuel. So, got after it with the axes. And it was enjoyable, very nice. So, yeah, I got quite a bit of footage today. Um, Quite a bit, actually. Uh, now it's actually coffee time. And uh, thank you. Thanks for, <laughs> for hanging around. I'm whipped. Oh, yeah, I'm whipped. I like being whipped. Yeah, and then I'm tired. And then I go home and I have a coffee. And I might even nod out at the computer answering your guys' comments. Thank you. But spring's here. It's it's here. It's there's flowers and, 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 and uh, blossoms on the trees and everything. Now it's all coming. So I'm just gonna park this tractor and go home. Thank you, Ron. If you ever watch, we really appreciate you letting me use that. And this guy, this Easton character, Easton made log splitters. Let's thank him again, friends. Let's do it. He gave me this log splitter. It was the first thing I ever took on this channel like anything like this first and only actually we don't have any sponsors or any nothings this is it 
and he's not a sponsor. He gave me the splitter for us to use. <laughs> what, a, what a crazy Canadian. That sun's nice out. Okay, I'll, I'll catch you guys back at the ranch. Thanks for watching my videos. Get outside, friends. Get the heart pumping. Get her going. It's uh, she is 40 and 50 and 60 year old men and on. You know, guys, we gotta we gotta keep moving. We got these young young characters coming up on us. <laughs> Be kind, friends. See you on the next video.